time to musk up. Wow. All right, back again. Today, I want to do a video sharing my YSL fragrances and my Givenchy fragrances. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try and run through this really quick. Please don't mind the hat. I, I got to get a haircut tomorrow. I got this shirt in today, but you don't care about that. I look like I'm about to play tennis. All right, anyways, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna change the view so you can see all the bottles together. I think it looks better, so let's go. All right, so let's begin. Uh, I'm gonna do, let's see. Let's start with the Givenchy fragrances. And the first one is Jeruche. I don't know, I'm definitely saying it wrong. I said it last time once in a video and I think someone corrected me, which is okay. Uh, and this is a very old school fragrance. Um, I think there's cypress, kind of oak moss, lavender, fir balsam, very green, leathery. I think there is like a nice little uh, spicy carnation in this as well. A bunch of different notes here, typical of like a vintage fragrance. Um, just really old school and really nice. I uh, I do enjoy this one. Next up is a fragrance that I don't enjoy. And well, this bottle was given to me by, um, crap, I forgot who was given to me by. Uh, oh, Remington, that's right, Remington. He could not stand it, but I did have this. And I did a little comparisons, well, to myself, I didn't film it. But this is a, I think this is maybe early 2000s. And this is a, I want to say like 80s bottle or something like that. And this stuff is stomach turning. Honey note is very difficult for me, especially with vintage fragrances. Uh, it's just, like I said, very, it's just stomach turning. Um, and this is a honey patchouli and there was many in this, uh, in this realm around this time and this one is no different than some of the others that i really can't deal with and yeah Givenchy gentleman the original next up is a the one of the more modern Givenchy's, and this is the edp uh very resinous iris going in that dior dior ohm range um i think it was toll balsam the iris very resinous kind of smoky, very modern still, still in a way. I think uh, it's definitely not bad. This is, uh, I, I don't mind wearing this at night when I'm around more people and, you know, I won't pull out the Frederick Mall the night. So I'll pull out something like this. Next is personally my favorite gentleman uh, fragrance. It was discontinued. And this is actually my second bottle because I spray the heck out of this. Performance is okay, and that's okay with me. I don't really care. And that is Givenchy Gentleman Cologne. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, this soapy iris with uh, citrus at the top with ambroxin. And this stuff just sparkles, relaxing. Uh, Really like this one and definitely going to be wearing it more in the summertime. Next up is Givenchy's Encense. And this is a really unique fragrance. Um, kind of uh, aldehydes, lily of the valley. Very green, spicy, kind of medicinal in a way. Uh, nice basil at the top. And um, yeah, this one is just really really nice i really like this one now we're gonna go into the ysl collection and this one i think this is like 2018 2017 16 something like that when i got this and this was the early stages of the collecting and this is the type of stuff that a lot of us started with and this is ysl loam ultime and this is kind of this ginger kind of soapy in the blue realm kind of fragrance with uh, a nice kind of, I think the, the rose here is geranium because it's very fresh and green because um, it's, it's still quite masculine. But uh, yeah, so uh, I don't know. I always thought about selling this, but then I'm like, you know what? This really isn't bad when I smell it from the nozzle. So yeah, Loam Ultime. 
This is the YSL section. These are mostly vintages that I have from YSL. And this is Kuros. I guess you can say the Greek god. And this is a Parfums Corp version. And this is fine for me. I don't need an older one. Um, kind of this soapy, aldehydic, pissy, urinal cake thing. Uh, really interesting. Something that I'd only wear around the house, to be honest. I mean, this isn't the really the easiest wear. I know some people say it's not even that dirty, but I don't know. I'm not that crazy about it, but cool to have it. Next up is a very, I would say, very designer fragrance for its time, but I think it still holds up nowadays. And this is this uh, spicy, woody, resinous uh, fragrance with some ambery kind of vanillic touches there in the base. Um, really enjoyable, easy wear. Not the craziest thing, but like I said, just nice. Next up is, uh, well, this one is really easy to describe and that is Reef Gauche. Because if you look at the bottle, it looks like a shaving cream can and this smells exactly like shaving cream uh, to the T. Very aromatic, kind of soapy, uh, kind of musky I would say as well. Um, really nice, I think there's thyme. I don't know if there's tarragon in here, thyme and some other aromatics, uh, definitely lavender as well. Uh, just really nice. I mean, this is quintessential suit fragrance right there. Next up, I'm gonna put out together because they're the same fragrance, but different concentration and different uh, times when it was released. So this one is a Parfums Corp uh, Opium, the original, EDT. And this one here is, uh, I forgot what it was that owned Parfums Court before it, uh, but this is the older built-in sprayer YSL, and there is definitely a difference. I do prefer this. This one is way, just way richer. Uh, just spicy, resinous, floral, woody, incense -y, just uh, just a whole heap of uh, spices and resins. And this is also the Secrets of the Parfum Opium, the refillable bottle here. And I'm gonna be honest, it feels like they kind of watered it down as time went by with Opium EDT. And then they brought Secret de Parfum out and kind of brought it back towards the original because I get more similarities these two than I do with this one. And next up is a fragrance that I just ended up kind of, I started looking for vintage fragrances with my source sandalwood in them. And as I'm looking at the box online on the back, the, the notes were on it and there it was my source sandalwood. And so I got it. Some of these were from Anuj. I'll have his information in the description box, and this is Jazz Prestige. This isn't, I think this is the second version. Uh, really nice kind of musky uh, fragrance with uh, sandalwood in the base there. Um, lavender. But here I mostly get the, the, some spices as well, but I definitely mostly get the, the, sandalwood and this musky that almost comes off like cotton um just the texture just everything it kind of reminds me a little bit of the the fuzziness and the muskiness that i get from tommy hill figures uh athletics yeah last but not least this is the most modern ysl and this stuff i really do like i know this stuff was really hyped but it, it's definitely worth it. I can definitely see this being worn with a tuxedo and obviously you know what it is. It's YSL tuxedo and your spicy patchouli here, but still ozonic kind of that violet leaf here that you get. Uh, just 
really really good stuff and uh really like this the one bottle that i wish i got in 125 ml this is a 75 ml but yeah oh, yeah and i forgot to add this this is a ysl porom a mini that anuj gifted me and uh this is really nice i figured i'd include this that is the Givenchy collection and YSL collection there. I'm going to figure out which brands to do next, but uh, hopefully you enjoy that. Let me know if you have any of these. Thank you. Take care. Bye.